Yo, yo, yo. What's up, everybody? Everybody. <clears throat> Sorry, it's a good morning. It's a good morning. A little, a little uh, foggy, cloudy, but good morning. You know, it's like what ten in the morning right now, and it's foggy outside. Early this morning. Anyway, we ain't talking about the morning today on Spliff Talk. We gonna talk about love, love and Kevin Samuels. So we are gonna continue this series. Why do they believe they have a lot of opinions? Yo, I feel like Kevin Samuels is, is being really harsh on women. I feel like, um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Go ahead, boy. Speak your truth. Go ahead. However, um, everybody got opinions. So I don't know why you titled it that. But this is part three of the... Of the discussion that we're going over with Kevin Samuels and these four females about love and finding the right man and what does that mean um, so if you haven't checked out the other videos please check them out um, thank you for watching just want to say that right now so let's continue with this video uh, like my other videos this is gonna be kind of like a series, so we're reacting to the video first together, and then we're gonna go back do another video, actually talk about it a little deeper, um, because we all looking for love. I'm looking for love. You looking for love, and people like Kevin Samuels are supposed to be the gurus, the pers the personal coaches that we're supposed to listen to. So either we're gonna build them up or we're gonna tear him down. Play. Because what can't work is we all do what the hell we want to. That can't work. There has to be order. There has to be structure. And coming from the military, uh, hierarchy and structure is what that is built on. You don't just make a battle plan and say, hey, just get a gun, go out there and cap some shit. There has to be a plan. So if marriage doesn't work, cool. What does work to get the kind of outcomes you would want? In the place where I'm at right now, mm -hmm. or even where my mindset is, I'm not really looking for a man, if that okay. makes sense. I'm not really interested in that relationship only because I know that I, how can I put this? Let's just say I can't be or offer what the typical man would want. Okay. So, I don't really feel like with what. What makes you think you can't? I don't want to say today's age because I ain't met all men. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to like put a bias or like a, a whole general statement about it. But from what I've experienced, it's just not something that I'm interested in. Right okay. Now. So, if now I heard Carl, when you said you wanted a couple of kids. Yeah. Uh, but you're not necessarily wanting marriage. Yeah. Uh. How would you see your life being if it wasn't married with your children? How does that how does that structure look? If I was married? Well, if you have kids, you, for the outcome you say you want, by 50, you want to have kids. So what would that structure look like? Um, with, the, with the healthy co-parenting. Would you live in the same house? Mm, not ideally. Um, or maybe a house, like, if when I thought about it, when I sat down and I thought about it for myself, I felt like maybe a house where we have separate bedrooms to where what? either one of us can take space when we need to. Because I've always found it bizarre to like wow. live your life completely I did not expect that answer from And me. then immediately like you have this one person that like you just, you're just with them. So you live in the same house but in separate rooms? Not all the time. I'm gonna try not But you know, like, cause I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very, yeah, I'm, I'm a person that likes to be alone a lot. So there's gonna be times where I definitely don't want to be around you. You know what I'm saying? And it has, it's not personal, and it has nothing to do with that. But yeah. Okay, I, so are you talking about having about, one? Are you talking about having one residence or multiple? Multiple, ideally. Okay, and this is where it comes down to money. I mean, I'm, it always comes down to money. We have all these. I'm glad, I'm glad you emphasize it. 
because because what I hear more often than women today with women is I can't be around a man. The structure it's like to, if you listen to most women, you're the freest you've ever been, but you sound like you're the most depressed. You can do whatever the hell you want to. The world is free. You can walk down the street and feel relatively safe, but you got to understand that you want children. You want the children. You said two kids. If you want to have an upper class kid. Let me give you these numbers. Middle class children to raise a child from zero to adulthood is $284,000 a year per child. Yeah, so you want half a million to $350,000 worth of kids. That's three kids. The kids you're talking about having a half a million dollars each. So you want a million dollars worth of kids. Two kids is a million dollars. Then you're talking about multiple residences. Where's all this money gonna come from? That's all I'm ultimately saying for everybody. Where is this money going to come from or would it be better to learn how to get the fuck along with one another like everybody else has done for the last 10,000 years? Because you can't have it all. I can't have it all. You can't. Nobody can. Unless you are rich, unless you are going to be making big money, mm -hmm. you cannot have living apart together. You're There's right about that, Kevin Samuels. You're right. You're right. Where is the money going to come from? The money is important. He's when you think about, about relationships, do you think about do you think about it on those terms, on where the money comes from? Huh? It's definitely a part of the. It's definitely a part of the topic. You say when you think about relationships. Yeah, when you think about when you think about relationship with a, when you think about you know when you're dealing with somebody because like as a single woman. I think about marriage, I think about financials. And from what I recall, you you, you think about what you don't want to be responsible for. And, and whether you can articulate it the way I do or not, you know how you feel you want a man to come. You know you want him to provide to where you can kind of... I can kind of have some sort of cushion if I want right. to have a baby. Maybe I can't okay. work for a All little right. while. Maybe I want to focus on this or that. Sure. And what I want you ladies to understand is just as nuanced as you all have been, there's nothing wrong with that. And what I want you ladies to understand is just as nuanced as you all have been, the men you want, all of that, I uh, want something too. And just like you feel sovereign in your right to think it's okay for you to be able to get what you want, men feel the same way. Okay with marriage. Marriage isn't the problem. You guys are all under 30. So you, you've grown up in an, in an area of immediacy, a lot of options. Uh, You've grown up in an era where it feels like you have more choice than you really have oh, and more freedom than you really do. There's a lot of structure. And at the end I of the day, opinions. what you're going to find is, <laughs> especially for women, you have the way nature works, you have to get the bigger parts of your life figured out sooner if you want children. Because life makes choices for women before they make choices for men. You said you didn't feel like you should have to tailor your your needs around the man you need. I want there to be mutual ground and good compromise if I'm in a relationship, which I don't want to be. But if I'm okay. in a relationship, I do want there to be good compromise. However, I want to fully, I want to be able to fully support myself with my goals and what I want to do with my career to where I'm in the position to where I don't yeah. need another person. Okay. It would be nice. Having that other okay. person is more like a luxury, like a good okay. thing, like, you know, having ice cream after you just ate dinner. That's what I wanted to be like. Not so you not necessarily to need somebody. Okay. So, so she wants what do you uh, what do you my by age fifty? What do you what what is your profession? I didn't ask it earlier. Um, I want to be a producer for anime and cartoons. Like One so Punch. Like Dragon Ball Z, yeah, yeah. One Punch, yeah. I want Yu -Oh. to be producing my own. Yo, that's my girl. Anime, but I illustrate, so I want okay. animation. Like yeah. At the height of your animation. career, what do you anticipate you'll be earning annually? The height of my career mm -hmm. and what I can do. What do you anticipate? Annually? Not not probability. Not, not prob not probability. Not 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 possibility. Probability. Okay, I don't know about annually, but I know I can say I know I, that I'm anticipating my net worth to be at least at least eighty million dollars. Eighty million. My favorite um, Your network? 80 person, million. my favorite mm -hmm. artist for manga and anime, mm -hmm. Yuko Tabashi, she's worth $80 million, and that's uh -huh. my goal. Okay, so, $80 million. That's what I thrive for. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And what is the average? The average, um, like, uh -huh. $30 million or more. No, no, the average. The average annual salary? No, net worth. That's why I said, like, I don't oh, know okay. about annual. Well, the thing is, you have, before you get in, okay. Yeah. 
We always when we can look at we can look at the outline. She doesn't really know. But what is your what would your proper title be in your job? What would, what would be your profession? She's still figuring it out. She doesn't know. Well, I don't. Would you be? Would you? Manga. What? There's no manga so, artist that's so worth eighty million dollars, okay. unless you're like a cult it's creator of mm -hmm. a series for years. Anime manga, anime, manga. but there's a job title, anime producer. Yeah. All right. So we can always point to Jeff Bezos and everybody else like that. Top earner, uh, the seventy, uh, the average is fifty-eight thousand nine eighty-seven. It's the average for a manga, for anime producer salary. It's the mm -hmm. average. Mm -hmm. the, the 75th percentile is 61,000. The lower 25% is 36,000. Top earners, they're talking about a top 10% uh, is 100,000. Big gap from 80 million net. That's just, that's ridiculously- Unrealistic. Infinitesimally small. It happens, but just like Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg and all these people, what is the what is the average? Because that's the only thing you can really plan on. Because I don't want to get into your personal personal, but is anybody here earning over six figures annually? Okay. So the likelihood of going from here to high eight figures is negligible. It's possible. But it's, just, but it's also possible to get rich by hitting the lottery and Powerball. And for you in your particular case, not wanting to need anybody, it's going to become a matter of ultimate necessity. You have to live off of what you earn. What's the likelihood of you? And if, here's the thing. Are you, are you planning your life and living your life in a way to where you're going to be able to live comfortably off of your uh, off of your earnings that you're actually making, not anticipated. I'm not, like, I don't want a lot of luxury. Okay. I'm not going to She's, a, she's a dreamer, that's like, why. She's thinking mm -hmm. in terms of positive mindset. I don't need a big mansion. Okay. What's all that room and space you need to run? Like, but remember what I said, if you were making $50,000, you're almost perfect for what I said. 50, 55, 50,000, 58,000, uh, you would still be short. You'd still have almost a half a million dollars, $600,000 shortfall. So on one hand, you're, you're saying, I don't need all this money. Then you talk about 80 million. And see, and here's the difference between how men and women think. We know we got to be a hell of a lot more practical about what it is because no one comes. We can't marry somebody who's going to pay our bills. Not not the average rank of five men. There's if we miss or we make a misstep, the streets kind of out there waiting for us. So we understand that homelessness is a hell of a lot closer to most men than to street the men than to women. And my thing is with today That's with true. women is many women today want to be free. Freedom comes at a cost. Can you pay that cost? What you're talking about doing puts you right in line with the average middle class American, being able to live roughly paycheck to paycheck, no real savings, having little to no cushion. But you only can, but you can only invest what you earn. See, when, oftentimes when I talk to people, especially when I talk to women, I hear how they anticipate getting money is some sort of entrepreneurialism through real estate or stocks or crypto. And that's just more jack in the beanstalk. It requires input currency. You cannot, in, you can't make money from investments without having the, the money to put into it. Where's the money going to come from? All right, that was pretty good. Um, a lot of points I do agree with him on um, in terms of the realism of life. Um, so we're gonna discuss it on the next video. Check it out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Sorry for the mistake I made earlier. I meant to say options. I read it too fast. I was like, why do they believe they have a lot of opinions? <laughs> <coughs> My bad, Kevin Samuels. My bad, peoples. I read that too fast because I was smoking.
Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I was just being dumb. <laughs> I was being dumb. I was. Just, I don't know what happened. It's options, not opinions. Anyway, peace out. Thank you.